input first, um, and ask Tracy and Derek and Catherine oh, here, and move I'll that take. forward, and then public input. And the reason I'm doing that is just give a little bit more context to oh, yeah. the uh, what the local board and the public input people are here to talk about, which is the redevelopment of Avondale. So we'll have Tracy and and the four local board members that are here. Yep, so I'll move that and a second is Councillor Simpson. Uh, all those in favour? Aye. 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 Welcome Tracy and welcome Derek. You Good morning Mr five Chair. Minutes, five minutes. You may like to note that I have already submitted my speech and I have with me documents that have been tabled with Council previously. The Avondale Regeneration Project and a flyer with regards to Avondale. So good morning councillors. It's always a pleasure to come and see you and be here and share time with you on behalf of the foe and our community. So I'm here today with uh, Derek Battersby and you note Catherine Farmer, our member, is also in the audience. I'm here to bring to your attention some concerns that were raised in two deputations and three public forums at the March 2018 FAUX Local Board Business Meeting. Those concerns relate to Avondale Town Centre and the redevelopment process, noting especially the sale of council land, the consultation process of a regeneration, namely Avondale, and the future use and importance of open public spaces. The presenters were not pleased with what they determined to be a lack of panukus and Council's engagement and clarity in the process. The concerns were that land was being sold with predetermined plans, open space was not being sufficiently considered in, devel in development plans, it did sound like a cat. Oh, was it? Sorry, I thought it was off. <laughs> but I Are you I trying to throw me off, AL? <laughs> 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 so, uh, and then there was catastrophic interruption. <laughs> <laughs> and that there was difficulty in finding information on the council system. A very strong request was made that the board, the local board, convey their concerns to the Finance and Performance Committee. To this end, I am now presenting their view to you as per their request. The Faux Local Board deputations and public forum are minuted. One deputation presenter requests I share their deputation, which I have tabled, and I note just for reference it is on the Faux Local Board um, minutes of the March um, meeting with regards to the deputation. However, what the deputations in this particular part of the community have not taken into consideration is that during a significant regeneration, the Faux Local Board may be aware of some aspects of the planning and have an overview, but not all aspects are available to be currently shared with the community. That having said, such as some of the acquisitions which may be under confidentiality. In my long experience of regeneration and redevelopment, there is so much information related to town centre projects. And as a local board, we depend upon the mandated agencies and Auckland Council officers to fully engage with the community to keep them informed. For instance, the Avondale project, the Auckland Council Development Agency, Panuku, has only been mandated to look at specific sites and other council departments work alongside to consider the wider town centre future growth. Community facilities are now working with the team on this project. The Avondale environment, like any town centre, is much bigger than the specific but important recently acquired sites. I understand, and so do others, that at this time we are unable to share confidential acquisitions of sites for the project and that surplus land may be sold. We as, a local board we as local board members and I as the chair do not have the mandate to make those significant decisions that affect acquisitions and disposals of surplus land. Please do know that we understand policy. 
During the term of the previous two boards, an Avondale regeneration consultative process did take place. And now, the faux local board, uh, faux local board members resolved and have endorsed the Avondale High Level Project Plan. And just for record, I do refer to the High Level Project Plan developed by Panuka Development Auckland, um, the Town Centre Regeneration. We do expect good, transparent consulta consultation processes to take place. Bearing this in mind, it is right or true that more can be done in Avondale to achieve good, transparent and thorough consultation to ensure that the community members who are engaging and fully informed and feel that they have had a chance to contribute to future planning. We believe that local communities and boards should be integral in the process of regenerating a town centre by working together to ensure that the community has the rightful opportunity to have input at the right level and at the right time. The Faux Local Board has formally resolved for Panuku and community facilities to develop best practice engagement plans as a result of the March meeting. We are a significant party to the process, but do not lead. There is currently no one particular lead in Avondale. We see the best process will be by way of collaboration of Panuku, Auckland Council Community Facilities, the Faux Local Board, and most importantly with community engagement. This will ensure great outcomes for our people in the foe and the additional information provided to local residents and businesses so they can see where their voice can be heard. In conclusion, I propose that we jointly co-convene a workshop to look at best practice and how we can all work together to have better community engagement, information, and to get the best possible results. And I now refer to Member Battersby, who has had a very long history in the area to um, comment with regards to consultative processes that he's been involved in. Derek, uh, I'll, Derek I'll give you a couple of minutes. I, I have one sufficient. Uh, I haven't, a lot, haven't got a lot to say. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank the council here for unlocking Avondale. And I think that was a key element to moving Avondale forward. The first board, of course, did the initial master planning exercise and that sort of dried up. But when we unlocked, that made a, a significant difference to Avondale. So for me, the next stage of consultation will take place once Panuku and the Auckland <coughs> Council families collectively complete the master planning exercise. And that will require, no doubt, the sale of land and the purchase of land. At that point in time, consultation will further, get, well, I'll start again. Consultation, no doubt, will begin on the final closing ceremony of Avondale. So I'm, I'm supportive of this council's unlocking of Avondale and I look forward to the future well-being of the Avondale community. Okay. Sure. Thank That's you. all I have to say. Just before the questions, I'll just clarify one thing. I've managed to work my, my way through the labyrinth of the bureaucracy here. Community services are actually going to have a substantial say in this still, even though they did the initial work. So it will be Panuku Community Services and Community Facilities, but Community Services will be um, playing a big part, which we kind of weren't so aware of before, but I'll just clarify that. Kia ora, thank you for that clarification. Any questions, councillors? Just remind councillors, no, this is terrible, we're getting picky, but you can't uh, say anything about the buy site and the three guys site, because that was in confidential in our last, in a finance meeting last year. So even though some of the presenters will refer to it, you cannot ask questions about that, but you can ask questions about anything else to do with Avondale. Richard. Um, thanks, Russ, and thank you so much. And I know your um, board came here pretty positively in favour of the unlock project. So I'm just not 100% clear on where you sit on future land sales. So are you, what are you saying if there is purchases and sales that get to the outcomes of the Panuka Unlock, you're fine with them? Or is it, yeah, I'm just a bit. Thank you, through you, Mr Chair. Thank you, Councillor, for that very good question. I think it's most appropriate to answer that. I am here on behalf of the group 
or the person who presented that deputation and asked me to attend on behalf of our board, I'm doing that. But to answer a question in a broader context, these projects, and I worked on the Todd and other redevelopment, that does require people to have a say and an input in the community they live in and the community they you know, live, work, play. So we believe in terms of the acquisition and sales, that is part of a wider picture of a, trend, um, of a, of a project, a regeneration project. So, so long, in my view, as there is a broad and fair process for community to engage and talk about what they believe is the future of their area. I mean, they may leave or stay or whatever, their children may stay or leave. Or so I believe just so long as a correct and fair process is followed, that the opinion of the board is we have already approved and endorsed, the whole board did the high level project plan. It is very high level. We have many stages to go through as yet. Thank you. Okay. Councillor Walker. Sure. Um, do you think that the council has and uh, Panuku have adequately dealt with the alternatives, other practicable um, options that could be um, considered? And, and that goes to the requirement under the Local Government Act to do that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So um, through you, Mr Chair, that's also another very, very good question for clarity. Um, my belief and my understanding is the document that has been developed thus far, there has been a process to get to this. However, I believe there is a lot more that needs to be engaged and to take place because this is very, very high level. It involves multiple millions of dollars. It involves significant changes of community spaces. And for example, I will reiterate to this council, that community facility in Avondale has black mould in it. It has been closed for nearly six years. Our community have a right to a brilliant community centre. I know other chairs have commented to this too. So I believe there's a lot more work that needs to take place. And we really support that. And I know it's a very long process, but we do and uh, support that, Councillor Walker. So thank you for that question. Oh, good, yeah. So, uh, thanks, Tracy. And I think your points are well made. That you've, you're supporting what you want to do with the unlock, but you want ongoing communications as we work through the process over the next That's several true. years. And I don't think anyone around this table would disagree with that. Yeah. Have you had any indications from Panuku Development Auckland that that make you want to assert that stance as such? Because I've always found them to be very open to public consultation. Uh, through you, Mr Chair, also another good question. Um, thank you, Councillor. I sincerely believe that thus far engagement to some degree and a greater degree with the history that we have from 2012 has brought us to the stage of the development of this document. <coughs> I will say to you that I believe, from my experience at the board and members that have come to me, that Panuku have responded to us. And it was quite a shocking experience as a new chair to have people come and say they felt they hadn't had that fear and due right and they didn't want the land sales and they wanted more green space because I had understood there had been that level of engagement. So since that, I must... Um, share with you, it's quite important to let you know, we have since had quite a lot of meetings <laughs> and one of the meetings we had, and I was so pleased to have this meeting, was with a gentleman by the name, a council officer by the name of John Schoenbrucker, who was involved in a major development project. So he had met me the other morning early with officers to talk about the fact that they will go to that next level of significant engagement. But this is quite unique because there are a lot of parties involved. There's Panuku, community services, community facilities. So we do need to bring all of those to the table. So I believe, yes, I have experienced that, but I think that you will find the people that are presenting you today may have a different view. That will be entirely up to them to share that with you. Um, I will, I, that is what I'm doing here today. I will be, I am willing to come to you as a council and say if something isn't right, I would be willing to say that. But I think we do need to do better. Thanks, Tracy. I think we definitely want to hear if there's angst at the local board level, at the community. So from you, Tracy, and from Derek, thank you very much. Kia ora, thank you. Right, thank you, thank Tracy you. and Derek. Um, I'll, I'll move this. I'll um, second. Yeah, and thank you for the lift in this morning. 